It, it's crazy because uh, we, we've been practicing with each other for so long, you know, in the spring and, and, and this fall camp, and now it's time to get out to somebody else. Uh, I mean, it's, it's exciting. Is it time you've really been waiting for to finally be able to actually focus on another team? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I mean, the tension's building and everybody's getting real anxious, especially the young guys that are going to play. Uh, you can tell, you can sense it in practice and the meetings and everything. Uh, everybody's just, you know, real anxious. I'm sure you started preliminary preparations for Pitt. What do you know about them? I know probably it's not, you're not in a full game prep yet, but what do you know about that team? Uh, something I didn't know. Uh, they were the number 17 defense in the country the country last year. And, you know, and first of all, you can never look past any opponent. Um, I mean, they're a great team, and, and they have uh, good athletes, and, you know, they're going to play us hard, first of all, because we're Florida State, second of all, because it's first game of the season. They got a lot going on, you know, retiring jerseys and stuff. Um, so, you know, we got to come with a good mindset and, and ready to play. Especially one of the big things in football, obviously, maintaining the line of scrimmage. Who can, who can run the ball better, obviously, normally wins the game for you guys. How important is that first game, not only because you're starting a brand-new quarterback, but just to really establish the run game from snap number one? Uh, that's been a point of emphasis since, uh, you know, the end of last season. We've always, want, we've always wanted to dominate the line of scrimmage and just run the ball, um, you know. Uh, and, and if we get our heads on right, you know, just make sure we're focused and ready to play, then, I mean, I'm sure it can happen. Talk about just Jameis starting his first game. How tough is it? I mean, you knew it was like, like your time starting your first game as an <laughs> offensive lineman, but as a quarterback starting, especially on the road, too, not a, not a really easy task. Um, I'm, 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 it's, not, it's not an easy task. It's not going to be an easy task. And, but I'm sure that Jameis is up for it. You know, he, he, he's a great kid, great competitor, great player. Um, you can't say you can't say enough good things about him, uh, but I mean he's going to be really tested. Uh, this is going to be a good team, you know, in, in a in a great environment. It's a sold out game, night game, only game on TV, so all the eyes are going to be on us, you know. Uh, but I don't really think he's going to be nervous because you know he's just that type of player. He he's going to be ready. I mean he's going to have those good butterflies as you know everybody does. But uh, you know I mean I had complete faith in Jameis, so. Not really worried. You mentioned before in the interview how much you really like night games, how much you like these kind of atmospheres. Yeah. Talk about this as, as you know, even starting the season with a, a big game atmosphere like this, like you said, where you are the only game on TV. There is nothing else to watch other than Florida State and Pittsburgh. Man, I take it back to my freshman year. Well, hold on, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly. It was my first two years. We played Oklahoma. It was my retro freshman year. We played Oklahoma here. It was a night game. It was one of my favorite experiences. Uh, we played UF the same year. Um, and now Pitt. Opening week, you know, uh, I mean, it's just it's so surreal to be in these these types of situations because I never dreamed that I'd be here. So I mean, it's it's crazy. How big is it for you guys to really start out the season on a right note? Obviously, you don't want to lose any football games, but to really actually come out and make your presence felt from game one It's definitely important because every opponent from now on is going to see that film from Pitt, and we want to give them something to watch. You know, the, the, the media makes a big deal out of it. The fans make a big deal out of it. I mean, this is a new team to, to the ACC because of all the conference realignment, all that. Do you, as players, do you look at that at all as you're facing a, a brand new conference opponent? It's the next person on the schedule. Uh, we're not really looking at it as, oh, they're new ACC. We have to beat them. We have to do this. We want to beat them because it's the next opponent, and, you know. And that's what we're trying to put emphasis on this year is just playing every game, game by game, one by one, and not trying to look forward, you know. And, you know, we're, we're doing a good job just staying focused and, and preparing for Pitt. You played a number of NFL stadiums right now. You played in Tampa. You played in Atlanta. You played in Miami. A new NFL stadium. Do you, you guys like those atmospheres? I love it. I mean, I didn't really get to play in, in the Georgia Dome when we played South Carolina our freshman, my, my, my true freshman year. But the atmosphere was crazy. I, I mean, I don't know. It's just something about it. And, and Tampa was the same way when we played USF. And, and I'm definitely looking forward to the opportunity to play in the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium. So uh, it should be interesting.